What's up, y'all? We are about to take a look at my service pouch. I actually just got done running a little service call, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what is in my pouch right after I finished up some troubleshooting. So we'll go ahead and take a look at it. I'm excited to show you guys just what's in it, let you see it's super simple, it's super easy, and it's light, it's what I like to use. You'll have to let me know if there's anything that you like to carry that's not in here, because I love to hear what y'all like and what you don't like, what your workflow is, so let me know in the comments. So this here is my pouch, it's the Occidental Leather Telecoms pouch on here, it's their two inch leather belt, I love this setup, it's nice, because in order to take it on and off, I just take it off, and whatever's attached stays on there. Um, it's been a pretty sturdy setup so far. There's a couple of things that I've got on here, um, a tape measure holder, and this honestly, this is from Occidental Leather too. Just about half the time, this actually has gloves in it, especially during service calls, um, because I don't wanna put my dirty gloves on white ceiling tiles if I'm looking above the ceiling or on walls. And then I've got this tape clip holder here from Gatorback. Uh, it's upside down according to the word tape holder, but it works great for my actual tape um, or for a drill or impact or whatever I'm using. Uh, but to put it on, it's pretty easy, pretty simple. Um, obviously you guys know how to do this part, I would hope. Fits nice, the belt's comfortable. It's not a very heavy pouch. I don't have a ton of stuff in here. That is very much so on purpose, okay? This is what I use for troubleshooting. Before we get started, I do wanna say thank you to our sponsor, Marquette. They are the reason why we're able to make videos like this today. They help manage your relationship with your customers. So it's super, super affordable, but it helps professionalize your business in a way that most people don't get to, especially when you're in the trades. If you're like me and you're an electrician, not a businessman per se, you don't know all the ins and outs and it makes things hard, but customer service is so important. And so they help you provide good customer service. Uh, you can help send invoices, you can send quotes, you can schedule right there on the spot, get your employees scheduled for that date and really stay organized. It really helps you stay on top of your game and in the long run, it saves you money. Go ahead and start in the front here with a pair of linemans from Knipex. I love this set of linemans. They are amazing. VDE handles, super comfortable. They cut super well. Um, obviously you guys know what these are for. They're for grabbing wires, they're for cutting wires. They're a hammer when you need it to be. Uh, they're pretty much everything you could ever want. Um, the finish is great, they last so long. The cutting ability on these is absolutely amazing. Um, and then they do have a fish tape puller on the inside here. This is my favorite set of linemans that I have, that I own. I love to use these every day. They go back into this little front section here. Um, there's all these pockets in the, this three, and I'll show you the pliers um, in a second, but this is my knife and it's a Fiskars utility knife. Um, this is my favorite utility knife. The action on it's super smooth. In order to open it, you just press this button here and it opens. Same thing to close it. Um, yeah, but the rubber, this is a rubber here, the orange. Black's a hard plastic. I like it, it's comfortable, it's not very expensive, and it's super easy to change the blades out. You just press this uh, metal piece here and pull this black piece and then the blades slide right in and out. So that's nice. There's no blade storage on it, but for me, that's not necessarily a big deal. I don't really care about it all that much. Step back. Um, I keep a number two Phillips from Weira and a regular size Salada driver. They are amazing. These I've been using these for quite a while. They're pretty beat up, um, but they have these laser tips on them and the tips, they, they just fit better. It's really hard to find a better screwdriver than Weira. Uh, the her handles are super ergonomic. They fit super well in my hand. I do have larger hands, but the handles are not big. Um, as you can see, you know they just the, the grooves here really uh, just fit in my my hands well. They're insulated. Um, they're not that much more expensive. I think they're actually the same price as the non-insulated because everybody in Europe is actually required to use insulated tools. Um, so that being said. They are just a lot more affordable from the German and the European manufacturers than they are from most manufacturers here in the States. That being said, red and yellow is a pretty cool combo. Um, and these just sit right up here in the front. And then in the very front, I have a, a 
Well, I have two Sharpies right now. I have a silver Sharpie and I have a black Sharpie. Um, normally I keep a pencil, but for today I was using this silver Sharpie, so I took it out. Have a level. You always wanna keep everything level. Uh, this one here is from Klein. It's their six inch level. It's got a no dog on it, which is necessary. Um, and then it's also got all the degrees you'll need for conduit or for whatever you'll need. Obviously this is a service call today, not bending any conduit, hopefully. <laughs> uh, but it's, you know, it's got what you need for, for everyday use, not just for your service calls, but it's got the 30 and the 45, obviously the 90 and the zero, but um, these are what you need for conduit. It's six inches. The magnets are incredibly strong. Um, they're like so strong that it's kind of ridiculous, um, but I love that. You don't have to worry about it falling off a pipe, dropping off. If you have it stuck to a lift or something, you know, it stays on super well. So that just slides in this pocket right behind these, the pen and pencil, and then right in front of these wire strippers. These are from Knipex. These are their forged wire strippers. These are my favorite wire strippers by far. I've done a ton of videos on these because they're amazing. It's a little bit thicker there, um, but it's great for using it on wires. Uh, it's got a little locking mechanism here, which locks it in place. They're spring loaded, strip super well. It does uh, strip 18 through 10 solid and 20 through 12 stranded. That being said, it also has the bolt cutters that you do not need to thread in, which I like that. Um, and then the shears on here are really what change these and make these so great. They are the best cutting wire strippers I've ever used. They're a lot more expensive, um, but they're definitely worth it. Obviously you strip wires a lot as an electrician. So they, uh, they go right here in the middle section. Then on this far side, I have these diagonal cutters. These are 10 inch diagonal cutters from Knipex. They're the VDE handle, 10 inches, you guys. You don't see that super often, but wow, I love these things. Um, they cut extremely well. You can use them the same as you would any eight inch pair. You just have a little bit more leverage at the end. I like the Knipex diagonal cutters better than I like any of the other diagonal cutters. They're pretty fantastic. Uh, they're amazing. I really do love to use these babies here. Um, the action on them, they do come smooth, just like all the other pliers, the, the linemen are the same way, but they come uh, ready to just open like this, which you don't find that super often. Um, so I really, really like that about them. But yeah, they're not angled. These are the straight pair. They don't make the, the angled pair in the VDE, but I like the handle so much that I opted to just have the straight pair um, so I could have the VDE 10 inch pair because I like it so much. Um, Definitely a very unique pair of pliers. Most electricians, uh, you know, just carry an eight inch pair. I like the 10 inch pair. It's cool, it's unique, but more than that, it works. It's also got this little ring here on the back uh, for your knife or for whatever you wanna use that for. Um, and then on the inside here, there's some more pouches. Uh, I keep this Fleur voltage detector, which I am a fan of. It does AC and DC. Uh, it's been the most accurate out of any voltage detector that I've used. When it's green, it's AC. When it's orange like that, it's DC. So we'll go ahead and turn that off. Uh, and then it's also got a flashlight on this end, which I like to be able to use just in case my headlamp ever dies. And then when you turn the flashlight off, if this was on, it'll turn back on. Uh, it's been the most accurate. It's been super reliable and rugged. I like that it's got a flashlight to it. Just a cool way to flip in some more um, design some more uses, but yeah, this is from Fleur. Like I said, super reliable up to this point so far. I've also got this Fluke multimeter. This is the 323. It was my first multimeter and I still use it because it's just, I mean, it's hard to beat you guys. Um, it's a clamp meter, so you can check amperage if you open it up and put the wire inside of here, you can see how much amperage it's pulling. That's the special feature aside from that. I do have the leads in here. I'm gonna do a video on this soon, so you guys sub if you're not and you wanna see some more stuff about multimeters. But yeah, it's got everything you need. You can check uh, AC voltage, DC voltage. You can ohm things out to see what the resistance is. Basically check for continuity and then you can also check the amperage. Um, so that's cool. It's why I like this because it does AC and DC. 
which is something that I run into often, um, is just a, a plethora of everything, as well as being able to check amperage, um, check any machines you hook up, to see what they're pulling when they run. You do have to have the wires separated, okay? So that is one thing. You can't just put this on a cord and it'll tell you, but, um, but yeah, this is, this is definitely one of my, one of my favorite multimeters, um, but Fluke, they make a great multimeter. It's the only brand that I actually trust uh, especially with this type of stuff, because when you're when you're using your multimeter, your life is um, kind of not on the line, I wouldn't say, but it's as close as it should be. And so I really like to have a quality multimeter. If you're going to have a quality anything and you're using a meter, have a quality meter. It's not the cheapest, but it's definitely worth spending the money. Now that is my setup for troubleshooting. And so I really, uh, you know, I mean, obviously I have the ability to switch things out, to turn things around, but basically it's what I use every day if I'm going into a job to troubleshoot. Um, obviously I'll keep a backpack on me as well. So I'll keep a bunch of different stuff in that backpack if I need special tools or equipment, but this is what's available to me 24 seven, super easily, super fast and quick. I like this Occidental leather pouch a lot. It's the telecoms pouch. I have another one that I put on this belt sometimes. Uh, it's called the Big Ox, but it basically it holds fasteners and stuff like that. So when I'm doing more uh, heavy duty work, I'll put that on and I'll be able to carry some material around too if I need to. If you guys wanna see what is in my backpack, head up here and check out this video. But remember you guys, it's all for his glory and I'll see you guys on the next one.